Maybe when I stop breathing. Oh gosh, baby, you're funny. You can say that again. <laughs> I'm so sorry I kept you waiting. I was struggling with my makeup. Well, I've told you with or without makeup, you still look beautiful. All right. Yeah. Right. Okay, come right here. We've been waiting for you. Possible, ma'am, because um, I see a lot of people every day. I work in the bank, actually. Oh. Oh, come on, I told you, have you forgotten? You work in the bank? Yes, ma'am. You're welcome to my house. Thank you so much. Please sit down. All right. <laughs> your mom is beautiful. And you're more beautiful. And all the cops here and there. Oh, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dad, what, what's that? He's coming, he's upstairs, he's coming. She's beautiful. You said that again. No, I'm so nice. She's here. Dad. Good afternoon, sir. She's so beautiful. <laughs> Our son has eyes for beautiful things. <laughs> Jay, Dad. Is this the girl we've been waiting for? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. She's the one. Isn't she beautiful? Extremely beautiful. You, you already know I have good eyes for good things. 
just like my father. Don't go there, of course. <laughs> Young lady. Sir? If you know what is good for you, you will not come to this house again. Now get out. What? Sir. How? Come back, come back, come back, come back. Let me warn you. Don't ever in your life get anywhere close to my son again. Okay? Now get out. Are you serious right now? What happened? What is the problem? Do you know her? Talk to me. Do you know my father? Just let me go, just let me go. Let no, me I go. cannot let you go. Talk to me. Have you met my father before? <gasps> what is happening? I want to go! Hey, you're getting me nervous and scared. Can you talk to me? Do you know my father? You're hurting me. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Customer service for nothing because you must service the customer. If you want the big deposit, deposit you have to bring a sweet benefit. Sweet benefit in business. You need customer service. Press this for interest. Can you tell me what the problem is? Ah, what was the meaning of that? No, 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 don't tell me to calm down, mom. What was that? Jim. Don't ever talk to me like that. Are you out of your senses? Honey? Now, let me warn you. I don't want to ever see that kid here again. But you can at least tell us. You have always wanted our son to marry a working man. What is really going on? And Perida just left works in the bank. And that's a high profile job. What is going on? Can you tell us why you don't want her for our son? Jim, that kind of girl is not good for you. And I don't want to see her with you headphones. Is that understood? No. no don't discuss it. No, you have to tell me the reason. Don't discuss it. You have to tell me the reason, Father. Nah. Come, come, let me take the room. Okay. You might spoil things. You know, I don't want you to have issues with your father. I'll, I'll take care of it, okay? Just calm down. Yeah. Everything will be fine. No, yeah. no, no, calm down. Everything will be fine. Just one minute, okay? Excuse me. Have you met that girl before? I don't want to talk about that girl anymore. I have made my position clear and nothing will change it. Don't you think we deserve an explanation to what just happened downstairs? Tell me, what is going on? I don't want to hear the knock from yesterday. A knock from yesterday. What does that mean? Have I not made myself clear enough that I don't want to talk about this girl anymore? Have I not?
nice. Jim! Jim, where are you? Your home is here. Oh, Dan, how are you? Fine. Good morning, Mom. Good morning. Oh. Um, where is Jim? He went out. What about the engagement? Call him on the phone. I think I should be heading out. Excuse me. Excuse me? Mary, can you stop doing this? Open the door. I need to talk to you, please. Mary, I don't care who she Mary. is, where she is from. Say what you'd like to keep us. What's this now, Mary? I really don't care. All I know is I care for her. Mary, I really don't care. All I know is I care for her. Hello, Jean. Hello. Dan, I'm about to lose my mind. Where are you? I'm in your house. Man, what's going on? What's the problem? Please, I need to see you before I do something stupid. Please. Okay, okay, just calm down. I don't know. I just don't know what's going on. I, I, I can't just understand what is going on. Where are you right now? Paris, I need to talk to someone. You know what? I'm in your house. Just drive home, okay? And drive safely. Fine, I'll meet you right there now, please. What's up, Jean? What happened? My father ruined my engagement party. How? What happened? He literally asked Perry to leave the house and never come back. <laughs> that is not possible. Your father I know cannot do such a thing. He asked me never to have anything to do with Perry. That is ridiculous. I mean, why? I mean, did you ask him why he said such thing? He didn't say anything. Wow. Um, look, Jim, I'll advise you to go and talk to your father in a calm manner. Who knows, he might tell you why he doesn't want you to marry Perry. My father, I know. Once he says, I'm done talking. He will never change his mind. Um, I know, Jim, look. Haven't you heard about the word that says there is no harm in trying? Talk to him, confront him to know why he says so. I didn't know what transpired between me and Jane. So I later found out that my father rejected her um, because she made it with his money. I just pray it's not related to this because I will be broken and Perry will not find it funny. And I think you have to go home and talk to your father. Sure, if you need to. Where is that? He's in the bed. Jim, please calm down. I beg you, calm down. Everything will be all right. Okay? Trust me. It's high time Dad stopped treating me like a child. It's okay. Just calm down. Dad. Young man. If you want us to talk about that promiscuous girl, I will not allow you to waste my time with it. Dad, 
I deserve to know why you don't want me to have anything to do with Perry. She is not the kind of woman you would want to take as a wife. I know her too well. She's my heart desire. You don't know her at all. You sound like you know her too well. Do you want to talk about it? Look, Jim. If I want to talk about that lady, it's certainly not today. Because it will only rile me up. How about my feelings? Well, it is better you feel terrible now than feel devastated in the future. This is the only time I brought a woman home. I've been a humble son to you and mom. But this one, I am going to disobey you if you don't tell me any tangible reason you don't want me to have anything to do with Perry. You try it. Try it, then I will disown you. I will ensure that you inherit nothing, nothing from me. Oh, this bossing has to stop that. Mark my words, young man. This bossing has to stop that for crying out loud. Is that kind of you, my man? Whatever choice I make in life, I have the right to take full responsibility for it. What is really going on? Until now, I don't know what is going on. Your father hasn't said anything reasonable to me. Just calm down. I will not calm down, Mom. I give him until tonight to tell me one reason I will not get married to Perry. I will take her to another city and get married there. It's all right. I will still talk to him. Just calm down. Everything will be fine. Trust me. What is really going on? Talking to me like I'm alive, like, like I'm a child. Am I a child? No. You are not. Just calm down, I'll talk to you, okay? You're feeling bossy without telling me any tangible reason. How can you just sit down here and tell me I will marry the woman of my dreams just like that? Have I not been a, have, have I not been a good son to this house? Have I disobeyed you for once? So why can't you tell me what? Oh. Can you imagine that he's going, he's going to disown me for doing what exactly? For doing what exactly? That I demand to know, to know the reason I will not marry the woman of my dreams? Is that the only crime I committed? That is going to disown me? Open this door, let's talk, please. This is not the best way. Can you please open this door, please? Go away. I don't want to spoil your mood. I don't want to talk to you. Just go. Go away. Go. Perry. Perry. If I leave here, I will never come back. Kindly open the door, let's talk. Perry, I know you can hear me. Open the door, please. Perry! <laughs> Go away and never return. Never return again. Go! I don't want to talk to you. <laughs>
I hate everything about myself. I hate my life. <laughs> Just go! Go away! Go! Go! Go away. You can never, never walk. Just go away. Go. Very, very, please. Please stop doing this. Just open the door. Let's talk, please. Even, even I your house with this. Person from nowhere, stranger, no. Person from nowhere, come. Come, they knock this door like this. How you feel? This compound now, nah, I'm there. You get at me for this compound. The man, the, he no like noise. Me, personally, I no like noise. Try last night, I no sleep. I saw so they secure this compound, they walk up and down. Small sleep, where I won't sleep. Small sleep, with the knock door. I don't want to vent my anger on you. I will advise you mind your business, which is the gate. Who got this compound? I be my business. So what thing do they pay me for? Who got leave love? Who got leave love? Mary. Leave love. Come out. Come out. Make army person no call now. Who got? Leave love. Leave love. I beg. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna this clip now. Okay, I'm gonna security for this company. Yeah. I need to secure this company. If I don't secure this company, bro, you're not gonna come. Okay. Leave love. No security tonight, stranger from No security tonight, stranger from nowhere. Come with us. Okay, I'm gonna secure it. Okay, I'm gonna secure it. Madam, of course, all these things. Madam, because everything, they can't strain their man. Everything. This is serious. I mean, I'm thinking. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? What are you thinking? Look, Jim. It's only sugar daddies that behave like that. And moreover, your dad might just be sugar daddy to Perry. No, I don't think he's anything close to that. Come on, we are adults now. And moreover, can't you see the handwriting on the wall? You need to ask Perry some questions. Yes. No, no, it, it can't be. Uh, Perry is a decent girl. I believe if there's anything like that, she will tell me. Okay? No, no, that, 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 that can't be possible. That can't be possible. Jim, these same girls are concubines. And concubines do not come from the pit of hell. Do not trust these girls. Me, I don't trust any woman. I don't expect one to trust me. Come on. Wait. Is that why my father said If I marry Perry, I will be devastated in life. Yes, Jim. Look, you need to ask her some questions. And you will find out what I'm thinking. Go on, 
gone. Like I'm gone. Oh. You know, I told you about my engagement party with Jean and the parents. Of course you did, yeah? I remember. <gasps> oh, I got there. Okay. Boom. I met face to face with a terrible past of mine. Face to face. What do you mean terrible <gasps> past of yours? Chief Williams is, is Jim's father. Chief Williams. Chief Williams. Who's Chief Williams? Chief Williams, the businessman. The oil will go. The CEO of Way Oil. He is. He is my, my man's father. What? Yes. <gasps> oh. Damn it! Damn it! Damn me! Like damn! Damn it! I I didn't even know what to do. I was so ashamed of myself. I couldn't even behold his face. You need to have seen my face. It was as if the ground could open and swallow me. Ah! Oh goodness! What have I gotten myself into? Oh! This might just be an opportunity for me to take my revenge on her. Why? Why would? Why would this happen to me? Why? Why? Jane. I don't want your mother to hear about what I want to discuss with you now. You see, a time comes in a man's life when the past comes knocking in the very fierce and embarrassing manner. Have you dated Perry before? She was a desperate career hustler. What does that mean? She was a marketer in her bank some years ago. And in a bid for her to meet the target set for her by her manager, we had one or two things together. Most marketers do that. I mean, that was in the past. Jim, if you listen to me carefully and allow me to finish, you will understand why you cannot marry that girl. Hi, Jim. Ah. <laughs> uh, My pretty angel. Chief, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, you kept daddy waiting. I'm so sorry. The manager came, so I had to stay for an emergency. So what are you waiting for? This pretty thing. Devour daddy. Devour me to pieces. <laughs> I understand what you mean. Don't worry, okay? Let me quickly freshen up. And I'm so going to teach you a lesson that you will never forget in a hurry. Is that necessary? Very necessary. I'm, fe I'm feeling all sweaty. I need to, you know. You like it. <laughs> okay. They don't call it customer service for nothing. Because you must service the customer. If you want a big deposit, deposit you have to bring a sweet Baby, benefit. Baby, it's five minutes, so you are still there. Customer service. Please come, please come. Chief Odo. Mr. Williams. <laughs> Met you again. <laughs> so, what about the belt? Ah, she's beautiful, man. Ah, she's in there. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Okay? okay? Yes. Make sure you take good care of her. Alright? I'll do just that. Okay. But, mind you, don't tell my wife that you saw me today. In fact, we never met. My friend. 
Go and get flogged thoroughly. <laughs> I'm ready to be flogged. <laughs> I wish you luck. In fact, as it is right now, yes. I am completely finished. Go I can have, see. Go and have your dose. <laughs> Yes, good day. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Hello, pretty. Here. I heard your bank doesn't know that there are some big men in this town. Anyway, I don't normally introduce myself, but for the sake of business, I'll do that. But sir, you don't even need to do that. Your friend already told me a lot about you. I was here when he called you, so I'm fine with that. <laughs> really? Yes. But I don't think he must have told you everything. Or, or did he tell you that I am the CEO of Dodo Oil and Gas? No. Did he also tell you that I'm the chairman of Dodo Motors? And I'm very sure he also did not tell you that I have six big hotels dotted across the, the nation. Wow. <laughs> you are a bullion van. Oh. You can say that again. <laughs> and I'm very sure he also did not tell you that I'm the only billionaire that drives himself. Welcome to my world. Don't worry. <gasps> you can say that again. <gasps> again. But you can say, I will make sure you hit your target within three days. Oh my goodness. What are we talking about? You don't need to talk too much. Come to mama. Come to mama. Look at this. So you see, Jim, she did not only sleep with me, but with Odo, my friend, and several of my other friends. So tell me, is that the kind of girl you would want to marry as a wife? Every woman has a dating past, Dad. What makes you think the next woman won't be worse? Jim, the question is, is she the kind of woman you would like to take as a wife? Now, don't answer me now. I would want you to sleep over it till tomorrow. You give me your answer then. If your answer is yes, then count me out of it and also count yourself out of my inheritance. Dad, this will be difficult for me to handle. women that have been dumped the same way, oh. they did not die. Rather, they picked up their pieces and they moved on. And oh. in your case, you have to do without to just pick any man of your choice and still make him to be under your control. That is not the kind of life I wish for. I love this man so much. I love him with everything I've got. I cannot afford to lose him and not now. For the very first time in my life, I'm falling so much in love. I can't lose him. I can't lose Jim. Love key you there. When you messed my life up, you didn't know I felt bad. Jim is every woman's dream. 
is everything I've got. I don't even cheat on him because I love him so much. If I lose him now, I've lost everything. Like I'm so much in love. Oh, goodness. I don't even know what to do. Can you listen to me? I honestly do not like what you're doing to yourself. You have cried enough. Okay? Listen. I wouldn't want you to kill yourself for what is not yours. She's mine! Jim is mine! How do you mean he's not mine? What if he's not meant to be yours? No, he is mine! He's just this past of mine! Oh, goodness! Can you be calm? Tomorrow might be better. There is no hope for tomorrow without my dream. There is no hope at all. There is no hope. Oh God, oh God, oh God, what have I done to myself? What has Banky Job done to me? <laughs> what has Banky Job done to my life? Okay, that's, enough. <gasps> that's enough. Look at me. I want you to be calm and look right into my eyes. I'm talking to you, friend. I see nothing in the eyes. I see nothing. I want my dream. I, want you. I want my dream. I want my dream. There is something you can do. Look at me, Jim. to know why you asked that girl to leave our house this afternoon. So tell me about it. I have discussed with Jane and he understood. And that has not answered my question. Have you met that girl before? I mean, do you know her? Look, I have told you I don't want to discuss this girl, okay? I don't want to talk about her. What is it about this girl that you don't want to talk about? I don't want our son to have anything to do with her. You can say whatever you like, but I will not talk about this girl. It is obvious you've had something to do with her in the past. Will yes. you stop? Please stop this this minute. Stop. Williams, it is you that should stop. Stop making me look stupid. Stop making me feel as if I don't exist, as if I'm not important in this house. Stop, William, stop! You should stop. Jim is not marrying that girl. And that is fine. You should tell me about it. You must your customer. You tell me about it. You must your customer. If you want to meet your target, it is customer service. It is important in banking. You, know. you are in business to make customer happy. So that they will come again. If you have to kiss them, kiss them. If they want to love them, love them. money for hand, they back for ground. Can we go inside and talk? There is nothing to talk about. Nothing. Piri, we have to iron things out. But what difference does it make? Nothing. Piri, this is not the best approach. Can we talk about this, please? Can we stop talking about this? Because it won't change anything. Besides, you and I are not even going to get married, after all. So let's just move on with our lives. Did you just say that to me? But that's the truth. Please, I'm running late for work. Excuse me. They don't call it customer service for nothing. Because you must service the customer. If you want the big deposit, deposit yeah. you have to bring the sweet benefit. Sweet benefit in business. Customer service, press this for interest. Nya 
she's for the positive body for me the raw one or customer service auntie is a banker walking in the bank breast is for interest yeah she's for the positive body for me the raw one or customer service customer service you you must service your customer Of done anything wrong. <laughs> Forgive me. I beg you, please. Don't do this to me. Perry, if you are here to beg me to allow you to marry my son, it is practically impossible. Oh, no. The answer is capital no. No, 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 no. I beg you, Chief. <laughs> please, I. I love your son so much. I love him. I love him. I love him with everything I've got. Please, I can't lose him at this time. I beg you, please. Perry. Perry. Sir. What you are asking is practically impossible. No. As long as I live. Now, if you want to marry anybody, go and look for those men out there that do not know anything about the kind of person you are. But certainly not my son. So I'm not a bad person. I was just a victim of circumstance because of the kind of work I do. I beg you, please. And when you are tired, you will leave my office. Please, I beg you. I can't leave. I cannot leave if you don't. If you don't give me any positive response. Please, don't leave. Oh, Perry, please leave. Leave my office. Please, leave my office. Please, leave. Leave. Please, you don't call it customer service for nothing. Because you must service the customer. If you want the big deposit, deposit, yeah. you have to bring a sweet benefit, sweet benefit in business. You need customer service. Breast is for interest, nash is for deposit. This is no time to cry. This is a time for me to be brave. I'm going to fight this with everything I've got. I can't lose my man. Not at this point. I won't let this man take my man away. I won't let that happen. I'm smart. I'm beautiful. I will fight this. Ma, your phone. Oh. Where, where did you get it from? I found it at the reception. 
Thank you. Yeah, wow. So this fine guest did the die for chief. But no same father will allow this. I will never allow this to happen. Never. Yes. Sir, I'm here to collect the file. What file are you talking about? You called me a few minutes ago to come and pick up a file. I called you a few minutes ago to come and pick up a file. And you are just coming. Look, I've told you severally that any time you want to come to my office, be sure of what you want. Alright? And this idea of you barging into my office any time a lady comes has to stop. You have to stop this madness. Is that understood? I'm sorry, sir. Good. What would you have for breakfast? I don't need anything. Go back to your work. Thank you, sir. Uh, come back. Now, let me warn you. If I hear anything about this lady from either my wife or my son, I will not hesitate to deal with you mercilessly. Is that understood? You are in business to make us stomach. you to please talk to your husband on my behalf. I cannot lose the relationship I have with Jim. We've been in this relationship for a very long time. I can't afford to lose him. Please, Ma. That is why I'm here. Go sit down there. Thank you, Ma. Money for hand, the back of a ground. That is the game. In business, you need customer service. Breast is for interest. Nyash is for deposit. And nothing but the truth. What transpired between you and my husband? Ma, this might really sound annoying to you, but I will sure tell you the truth. Years ago, when I was still struggling in the bank as a marketer, I met your. It has something to do with my husband? Not really your husband. It was your husband's friend, Chief Odo. Little did I know that it would come haunting like this. I knew it has to do with this. At least it will serve as a, a lesson and deterrent as men that will hear your story. I mean, what would people say? We are a family of high, high pedigree. We will not tolerate any form of scandal with any member of our family. I'm sorry, my wasn't entirely my fault. The frustration from the bank was way too much. Please. Anyone in my shoes could have done the same, ma. Please, don't tell me that. People make choices, and you made your choice. I'm sorry, ma, but the truth is that the country is not making it any better for us. I will not take any insult from you. 
My husband has a good reason for his anger. I am not insulting you, ma'am. I'm only stating the obvious. Rubbish. Absolute rubbish. I am sorry, ma'am. But the truth is that we all have dirty slates and sheets. I didn't intentionally do all those things I did because I wanted to. Okay, it was the pressure from the bank, please, ma'am. You just stated you are just the kind of person you are. Don't say that rubbish again. That nonsense you're talking about. If you want the business to move up, it is customer service. Biggie bum bum, biggie deposit. Customer service, yo. you must service your customer. If you want to meet in your target, it is customer service. Account office and service the customer. Sir. Guys, a fan from Vintage Group of Companies. Uh, it's all right. Um, give it to Jim to sign. Uh, scan it and send it to them. Sir, so, um, Mr. Jim is not around. He's not yet in the office. You mean he has not come to work today? Yes, sir. Hmm. It's all right. You can go. Uh, come back. T take the file. All right, Sir, sir, someone is here to see you. But you can see that I'm busy. Now, tell the person to go and come back tomorrow, please. It's your friend, Chief Odo. It's all right. Tell him to come in. All right, sir. such a thing for me, knowing fully well that I do not have a soul. What are you talking about? I met a lady some hours ago and she told me everything. I am still confused here. 
What are you talking about? You met a lady, yes? What did she tell you? I went to have breakfast somewhere and a lady walked in. They don't call it customer service for nothing Because you must service the customer If you want the big deposit Deposit, yeah. You have to bring a sweet benefit Sweet benefit in business You need customer service for interest. Yeah, for the Hello, Chief. Have I met you before? Of course not. But I bring you good news I know you would love. Yes. News about your son. My son? <laughs> I don't have a son. Oh, I see. So your mistress who works with the bank did not tell you she had a son for you? My mistress? Yes. Who? Wait, that is not even a problem. For she never told me she was even pregnant from me. Oh. Uh, well, I am certain you are not aware of it. But if you think I am lying, you can confirm from your friend Chief Williams. And if you also think she's a saint, I can take you to where you will find her and that of your son. Are you sure of what you are saying? Of course, Chief. I cannot just come here to tell you some cheap lies. Ah. I can't do that. Be very, very careful. Because if I find out that you are telling lies, you won't believe what will happen to you. Believe her at your own peril, Chief. They don't call it customer service for nothing. Because you must service the customer. If you want a big deposit, deposit yeah. you have to bring a sweet benefit. Sweet benefit in business. You need customer service. Breast is for interest. Nash is for deposit. So near. So near. And I think there is an element of truth in what she said. I need my soul. I want my soul. I cannot allow her to keep my child. Hmm? This lady is evil. Chief Odo, I want to get something clear. You met a total stranger who told you that Perry was pregnant for you and you believed her? I believed her because Perry disappeared for one year and later resurfaced. Can you see the connection? That girl is evil. Chief Odo. Yes. I have my doubt. Yes. Because Perry is too outspoken to keep such a secret. I mean, if she was pregnant for you, she would have come to you to ask for money. You know Perry. <laughs> you don't know these girls. They can be very desperate. That girl might decide to keep the child. Well, if you feel so strongly about it, then uh, I think you need to contact her and ask some relevant questions. What questions do I ask her? And where do I even see her? You are in business to make customer happy mm. So that they will come again If you have to kiss them, kiss them they want to Dan, I know you will find this funny But it's not A man has to come to the realization that sometimes he disobeys some elders to get himself free You don't even get it. The worst mistake we make sometimes is staying in the same house with our parents. That's the same... Let me call you back. Let me call you back. Young man. What are you doing sitting at home? You didn't show up at the office today? I called your line severally and you chose to ignore my calls? Why?
simply because I'm taking a break. You are taking a break. Do you know how much we will lose because of this, your incessant taking of breaks? Do you know how much? On a weekly basis? Don't act like you don't know I'm heartbroken. Why are you behaving like a baby? You are heartbroken simply because I saved you from the claws of a slut? Oh, she's not a slut! People like you and your friends are the reason girls in her situation go under the sheet to meet their targets. You cheated a mom too. You are damn slut too. Are you mad? How dare you? How dare you call me a slut? Are you not? I will not hesitate to deal with you mercilessly if you don't get your manners coupled. Idiot! I know. I know you're my father. But don't you hit me again. And if I do, what will you do? Fight me? No, 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 you want to fight me? Don't you hit me again. some other time. Besides, food is food and yours is very expensive. Come on, Perry. I wouldn't want you to have pity on Chi. He has the money and he's ready to spend it. Okay? Please tell her. Tell her that I am money. Anyway, Chinese restaurant is it. <laughs> <laughs> now you're talking to me. You don't call it customer